It's time for the welterweight showdown between Mandel, Rat Garbage Nalo, and Devison, the Dragon Hibero. Nalo has spent the majority of his career training at the legendary TriStar Gym in Montreal and handing out devastating finishes in Bellator MMA. Rat Garbage looks to keep his 100% finish rate intact and prove he's still one of the most dangerous Canadians in the game. Training out of American Top Team in Coconut Creek, Florida, Devison Hibero has a deep roster of training partners including Dustin Poirier, Edson Barboza, and Hanato Moicano. With 27 wins, including 12 knockouts and 4 submissions, the Dragon looks to use his experience to take Rat Garbage into deep waters. Let's cut to the chase. It's time for this welterweight battle between Mandel Nalo and Devison Hibero. Still one of the best nicknames in the sport of mixed martial arts. And here's Mandel Nalo, as we said before, a veteran of the Bellator cage and a natural finisher. This yeah. is a guy that's 11 and 3 as a pro, and all of his victories have come by way of finish, whether it's knockout or submission. Surrounding himself constantly with great coaches and great training partners. And the one thing I noticed is a former lightweight, he looks massive as a welterweight. <laughs> he does. As we look at the tail of the tape here in this welterweight showdown between Davison Hibero and Mandel Nalo. Veterans of the sport, 35 and 34, one inch height advantage there for Nalo. Hibero did miss weight, but the fight will go on with a three inch reach advantage as well for Rat Garbage as we get this one underway with Mr. Throwdown, Pete Trevino. And here we go, BTC fight fans. The following matchup is being brought to you by Endorphins Health and Wellness Center and MPC Fitness app. Scheduled for three rounds in the welterweight division with your referee, Patrick Gula. And now introducing the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the gray trunks trimmed in black and white. Standing five feet nine inches tall, he weighed in at 173.8 pounds. He's a freestyle mixed martial artist representing American top team. He comes to the BTC cage with an experienced record of 27 wins and 12 losses. Fighting out of and representing Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, ladies and gentlemen, here is Davison Dragon Ribeiro. His opponent across the cage fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue trunks trimmed in black and white. Standing six feet tall, he weighed in at 168.6 pounds. He's a freestyle mixed martial artist representing TriStar. He comes to the BTC cage with a record of 11 wins and only three losses. Fighting out of and representing Toronto, Ontario, ladies and gentlemen, here is Mondale Red Garbage Nalo! Referee Patrick Gula with final fight instruction. All right, we went over everything in the back. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do so now. Ladies and gentlemen, this BTC welterweight contest will be decided in three rounds or less. Patrick Goulash, the third and final man inside the BTC cage as we'll have this welterweight showdown between Davison Hibero and Mandel Nalo. Here we go. Well, I'm assuming Ribeiro will most likely try to probably get this fight to the mat at some point. I think Mandel Nalo is going to look to keep it on the feet here and use his pinpoint striking. Nice Outside cap kick there. Partially checked, though, by Ribeiro. That one wasn't. Ribeiro says he does have heavy-headed hands, and 12 of his 27 victories have come by way of KO or TKO. The other majority are by decision. And Nalo said he'd kind of like a decision as well on his record, which is weird from a guy that's just a complete finisher, but he wants to prove that he can go the distance. Those calf kicks are going to be... Oh, another one. 
It's, ooh, oh, nice. front kick to the face there from Mandel Nalo. Beautiful setup there. We got Ribeiro thinking he's going back to the calf, came up the middle. Ribeiro trying to answer his own, his own calf kick, but Nalo's weary with it. Trying to showcase that Anderson Silva style from Mandel Nalo with that front kick. And once again, goes to that side. That one, cat yeah. calf kick, really hurt you Hibero. Can, you can see the swelling already and the redness, and there it is again. Yeah. He's, let's compromise. That leg is shot. Yep. As now Hibero trying to get this fight to the ground. Good sprawl, yeah, though, is, from Nalo. This is what he has to do, and Nalo will probably just start kicking at that calf. Yep. That's exactly what he will do, Josh. It doesn't take much, man. Like two, three of those, four of those, it's compromised. You know, it, it's hard. You can't really condition that part of your body. It's not like the thigh where you have all that meat and muscle there. The calf is, has those nerves that run down it. There's very little tissue there, and it can shut off your, your nerve there. And you've seen it so many times where guys kind of leg goes limp and flimsy. Patrick Goulash yeah. will he, get a break in the action to get yeah. Hibero back to his feet. I'd be surprised if he switched to southpaw. Yeah, there it is. About two minutes in, that lead leg for Hibero is gone due to the great work with those leg calf kicks there from Nalo. Good front teeth yeah. kick right to the body too of Ribeiro. Yeah. Now he's gonna start working that that left side of Ribeiro. Oh, Ribeiro switched back. Okay. Oh, right hand nice though right from hand. Ribeiro puts Nalo down on the canvas for just for a split second. Good job of getting back to his feet there by Nalo, but good timing from Ribeiro. High Ooh. kick there from Nalo just grazes the sh the forearms there from Ribeiro. Trying to shoot the takedown now is Hibero. Single leg. Good defense here by Nalo. Good job of getting his underhooks there, pulling him up. Well, welcome back to mixed martial arts, Davis and Hibero after that four year layoff. And I like how Nalo is going to go to that, that body right up the center there. And now he's going to attack the, the good calf. Hibero. Barrow with a swing and a miss there. Once again, good teeps to the body. There it is, yeah. By Nalo, goes up high. Nalo, as you can tell, he's setting up the head kick. He's going to the body. Look at those. Ribeiro's. That time the kick was caught, though, by Hibero, and he's got a waist lock. Yeah, good timing there from Ribeiro to catch that. See what he can do here. He's got the back here of, of Nalo on the feet, but oh, good job of Nalo to turn in, get his underhooks. Now he's going to turn him off and throw his own arsenal here. Knee, trying to land that knee there is Nalo. You can Show see the, the difference, I think, too, in, in strength here. You can see that Nalo is just really kind of having his way when they get into this clinch position. He's kind of out muscling Rivero here. Well, I thought Nalo looked like an action figure at the way yeah. and you're just seeing him right now. He's a living, breathing action figure right now, putting on Hibero who's just said did miss weight, so he's carrying that extra weight now, right now up against the fence, carrying Nalo's weight. Knee to the body. Ooh, nice Knee up high there from Nalo. Nalo doing a good job of controlling the biceps there. But back to the center. Oh. And there's that leg kick, that calf kick. Cabero's on one that's leg, it, and that's, that's going to do it. He called it. And the finish streak continues here for Mandel Nalo as Rat Garbage takes out the trash to get his 12th win as a professional, his seventh KO or TKO as a pro, and Mandel Nalo on a three-fight win streak right now, Josh. The calf kicks, man, they're such a game changer, and they've relatively new, you know, um, within the last few years, they've made such an impact, and when guys can land those kicks and time those, man, they're so devastating. Like I said, like they're hard to, they're hard, you can't really take many of them, right? Like a couple of those flush you saw already, I think Mandel probably landed about three or four and, and his leg was totally compromised and got to the finish via leg kick. Hibero had a moment or two in the fight, but good job by now he stepped away pointing at Hibero. So I'm just gonna go right back to the leg. Yeah, just chopping the tree down. And look at it, and Ribeiro knew, he's like, I can't even stand on this, you know, this compromise. If he went down, the ref would have told him to get up, and he wouldn't have been able to, and they would have called it anyway, so. Mandel Nowell's game plan was like that old French Montana song, Choppa Choppa <laughs> Down, and that's exactly what he does to Devison Hibero. Mandel Nowell on a three-fight win streak, his first win inside the BTC cage, and keeps that finish streak alive.
As that is now his seventh KO or TKO as a professional mixed martial artist. Let's make this one official with our ring announcer, Mr. Throwdown Pete Trevino. BTC, BTC. BTC fight fans, let's have a round of applause for both of the fighters in the center of the cage. This matchup has ended at four minutes, 19 seconds of the first round for your winner by submission due to strikes, Mondell Red Garbage Nello. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the winner, Mandel Nalo. And Mandel, that was a, a destruction of the leg there in the first round. Calf kicks. I was going to say, how is your leg feeling after that? It's good. feels good. It's Calf kicks, is that something that's changed the game now? You've seen a lot of times with guys are just, it's so devastating. Is that something you practice all the time? Or is that something that happened today you just saw it and went, kept going back to it? Honestly, calf kicks, I tell everybody that I strike with, it's like cheating. When you're like a rangy fighter and you're like, Oh, the jab is the best tool for a rangy fighter. Jab means you get double leg. Jab means you get right cross. Uh, calf kick, you risk nothing. So just throw the calf kick. So yeah. Well, it worked for you tonight. It was beautiful. You're up at a weight class, usually down at 155. You look great here at this weight class. Is this where you plan to stay or are you going back down? I, I like 55 personally. Uh, I like the skeletal look of a 55 Mandel. Um, and also, my body just wants to go there. I was 168. Uh, trying to be heavy, so I think I should stay at 55, but 170 feels good. If people want to fight me at 170, uh, let's go. You fought amongst the big shows. We're happy to have you here in the BTC cage. What's next for you? Do you want to come back here and fight, or, or what, what are you hoping for? How quick do you want to get back in there? I'll go whenever. Uh, I owe the people who I love in my life a lot of time, because this, take, you know, this takes a lot of your time, um, but after that, I'm ready to go whenever, and here, there, anywhere. Well, I hope to see you back in here. I hope you see you anywhere. I love watching your fight. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Rat Garbage Mandel Nalo. Go to ratgarbage.ca and buy a shirt and come to TriStar Gym and train. Thank you. We love you. There you go. Support the man, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. She popped there from Mandel Nalo as he plugs his website, but well-deserved after a first-round finish.